Hey everyone, welcome back to Blonde Pox Creations. For those of you who are new, I'm Julie, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a baby milestone using a four inch acrylic disc. Now, if you have had a baby or you know someone who's had a baby, you know how important those first few months are. That first year is such a blur. It goes so fast. You're taking a million pictures and half the time you can't even tell how old they are in your pictures. You look back and you're like, okay, well, what date is this? Oh yeah, they're four months old this time. Or, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already 12 months old. Um, it goes really fast. So you wanna have a way to kind of commemorate those big milestones because every month they change in that first year. It is unbelievable how fast they change. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a baby milestone. It's gonna commemorate those months and um, it goes from one to 12 months. I even have a special one that is gonna say hello world because we wanna be able to show off that baby as soon as we can and get those pictures out on Facebook and Instagram. So why not have a perfect one that says, hello world, and just to say, hey, I'm here, I'm ready to go, and I'm ready for this life to start. So before we start, we're gonna need some supplies. So I'm gonna go over everything you're gonna need in order to make these little milestones. So first, of course, you're gonna need your acrylic discs. So these are four inch acrylic discs. Um, I bought these on Amazon so you can get them in larger packs. This is a pack of 30 when I purchased these originally. Um, you're gonna need, of course, at least 13, and depending on how you wanna do it, you can just go with 12. You don't have to do the hello world. Um, some people like to add in um, the first few weeks, so you can always add those in, so it's just your preference. Whatever you wanna do, it's up to you. You're just gonna need that many discs depending on how many rings you wanna do. And the cool thing about these two is that they are coated in plastic on both sides. So that will keep them clean until you're ready to add paint and when, until you're ready to add vinyl. The next thing, of course, that you're gonna need is you are gonna need an acrylic paint. So I will be using Silver Lining um, from Waverly. Um, you can get this at Amazon, Walmart, Target, any of those places are gonna have that and they have a million different colors. It's really awesome. So you don't have to do gray or any of the basic colors. You, there's so many colors, it's ridiculous. So, and then there's other companies too that have um, acrylic paints that you can choose from. I'm gonna go with silver lining because it's a pretty neutral color and grays are all the thing these days. So I'm gonna be doing um, gray uh, paint with white vinyl. So you're also gonna need a one inch paint brush. This is a sponge brush. You're also gonna need some Mod Podge. This is gonna seal that paint color um, to the back of that um, acrylic because with chalk paint and acrylic paint, um, a lot of times it will chip and you don't want it to chip. So I also recommend anytime you're using paint, disposable gloves. I also found this a really cool thing that this girl used um, a while back to hold on to her discs. So this little thing is a suction cup with a hook on it. So really you could use it like a towel rack or um, hang up your robe or whatever. But this is used for the disc, to hold the disc while you're painting. So you, again, you're a little bit hands-free um, with that. So you can hold this and you can paint. And then it has a little release tab right here that will release from the disc and you can move on to the next. So it's pretty cool. But again, that's just something a little fun thing. Let me know if you like that or if you think that's kind of handy. I like it. It's kind of cool. So. Try it out. You're also, of course, gonna need vinyl. So like I said, I'm using white vinyl. This is Cricut um, Smart Vinyl. This is permanent vinyl. So I highly recommend permanent vinyl, not removable, because you don't want it to come off. And I use Smart Vinyl. And then, of course, you're gonna need some transfer tape, because no way you're getting that vinyl to the acrylic without it. So um, I, of course, again, I'm using Cricut because I'm a Cricut girl. So I am gonna use um, Cricut transfer tape because that's the one I like the most. I don't use it for everything, but I do really enjoy it. And it has a really good stick to it. So that I like as well, because it will adhere to the vinyl really well. And having, you know, similar products, it does make a difference, at least for me, that's my opinion. Now I'm gonna show you how I came up with my design. It's really a simple design. 
So I'm, I did a mixture of a script and a block letter on my circles. All you have to do is do what you want to do. This is just one that I have done, the letters or the fonts that I've mixed together because those are the ones that I like. But again, there are a million different fonts. There are a million different designs. You can pick whatever works for you, whatever you have fun doing, whatever brings you joy. I certainly hope that you will do that. But this is, this is a two of the fonts that I like. So let's head over to um, the computer and I will show you how I came up with my design. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna open Cricut Design Space. And as you can see, I already have all the images set up that I, would, I wanna be using for this tutorial. Um, so we're gonna show you how I came up with this. So we're gonna go to new and you're gonna start out with your shape. So you're gonna go over here to your shapes. And like I said, I'm using um, Cricut Maker 3. And then we're gonna pick our circle. Okay, and there's your circle. So we already know that this is gonna be a four inch round. So luckily it's gonna be even. So you're gonna come up here to the top under size and you're gonna resize that to four inches. So now you know you've got your, there is your four inch round. And then I always change this to white because since our acrylic is clear, this just makes me um, be able to see it a little bit better when designing everything. So now we're gonna put in our text. So I'm actually just gonna show you how I got um, the first two circles. So the first one is you're gonna do the text, okay? And we're gonna be using a font called Hello Honey. And then we're gonna double click into the text box and we're gonna change the word to hello. So I'm actually gonna move this circle down a little bit and then I'm gonna move in hello. And then you just want to resize it to the size that you like that fits best. We're just gonna even that out and then we're gonna just center that at the top and we're gonna click out. Now we're also gonna add in the next box which is our another text box. So we're gonna put that over here and it's already highlighted, but we are gonna change the font. So we're gonna go up here to the font. We're gonna change that to a font called Clody, C-L-O. So like I said, I really like to have the mixture of script and block, so that's why we went with the block on this one. So now we're gonna double click that and we're gonna type in the word world. And now we're gonna resize it and center it into the box, just like that. And there you go. And there you have your first circle, which is so great. So now we're going to pull the circle away and then we're going to highlight those two words together. And on the bottom right here, over here, we're gonna click attach. And then you're gonna to continue to use those two fonts um, on all of your rounds that you're gonna use on um, your Cricut. So you're gonna to continue um, to use this circle. We're just gonna use that and just gonna bring in your text box. A lot of times I will duplicate if I'm using a word like months uh, and once I get it sized, I'll just duplicate several of those and put those in that one circle and then I'll pull the circle away and attach them just to make it go a little bit faster because you know you're gonna use the word months from the second to the 12th months. Um, so it just gives you a little bit more time. So the next one we're gonna do, of course, is gonna be one. Just so you can see, again, so we already have the Clody font up, so we're gonna type in months, a month. We're just gonna resize that, and I'm just gonna bring it over here, and then we're gonna set up another text box. And again, you're gonna wanna change your font, and then you're gonna double click and change it to one. Now, I like to do a capital O, um, some of the words I use, I like the way that the lowercase letter looks versus the uppercase letter. So I will switch that out and I'll show you kind of the difference between some of those. Okay, and then we just wanna center them the best we can. And once we have it where we like it, we're gonna remove that circle, not the one. <laughs> but that happens a lot. We're gonna move that circle and then we're going to go from down here and we're gonna attach. So some of the letters, like I said, um, are the T is a big one um, when it comes to the way it looks. So as you can see, and just in the word text alone, um, I don't really like this T, but I really like the lowercase T and how it looks. So when I'm doing the word 10 or the word 12, 
I'm gonna use a lowercase t, just because I think it looks a lot better and it fits a lot better in the box or in the circle. So it looks much better than that capital T. I just think it fits in there better. So again, it's all about your preference and what you wanna do and how you wanna set it up. Um, but this is my preference and the fonts that I use. So we're not gonna save this. So we're gonna go to new and we're gonna go to replace. And then I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna open up um, that. And then we're gonna go to customize. And just make sure, you just wanna make sure that everything looks the way that you want it to look. And I think it looks great, so I'm gonna go with this. So now we're gonna get our vinyl ready and we're gonna cut out our vinyl decals for the rounds. And now we're gonna make it. So we're gonna use Unmap for any material. I'm gonna confirm that. And now I like to adjust uh, the words um, just to give it a little bit of separation because Cricut Design Space likes to shove everything together. Um, and I wanna kinda loosen that up a little bit because we are gonna have to cut these um, separate into pieces. Um, so we wanna give a little bit of room in between to kinda um, give us a little bit of area to cut. Now, as you may see, um, I took off the Hello World because it doesn't fit on a 12 by 12 mat. So I want you guys to be able to see how to use the 12 by 12 mat and how you can use the ma maximum space of that page. Um, so we'll do a small separate uh, cut for the Hello World. And now you're gonna hit continue. And now we're gonna use Smart Vinyl Permanent. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and just leave it on the default. And then we're, and we're gonna put our vinyl in and cut away. Okay, so let's get started on painting our uh, circles. So the first thing that is most important is you wanna remove the plastic backing from one side of each of your uh, four inch discs. So I'm actually using my uh, weeding tool um, in order to allow me to lift up that plastic off the backing without damaging the acrylic. Just want to be very careful and slide it in and peel it right back up. So now we're gonna use our um, chalk paint. Like I said, I'm using Waverly Silver Lining um, as our, our paint for the backing. So we're gonna shape that up really good. And then we're gonna use our one inch sponge brush. And luckily it's small enough, it will fit right in the bottle so we don't have to pour out any um, onto any other surface. However, if you didn't wanna use it right out of the bottle, you certainly can put it on a paper plate. So I actually just put a piece of um, butcher paper down to keep protect my surface. Um, so I didn't mess up my surface in any way. So we're gonna give that some time to dry. So we're gonna use our handy dandy little hook uh, suction cup tool. We're gonna press down hard. We're gonna hold it like that. Okay. And then we're just gonna dip our paintbrush into the container. And then we're just gonna be brushing across the middle. Now you can um, paint the entire surface if you want to. Um, this is just a new trend that I've been seeing. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna try this out and see how it comes out. But depending on what you are doing with um, your discs, your milestone discs, 
Um, it will depend on what, how much you want to paint. We want to try to get as much smooth surface, but you kind of want to have that brush stroke lift as well. And then we're going to use the little tab right here on the side to pop that up. And we're going to let that dry. And this one I'm just going to do by hand so you can see the difference and how much easier it is to hold with the hook. That's such a cool idea. What do you guys think about that? Do you think it would be handy for you? Would you like something like that? I like it. It's kind of cool. And then we're just going to lay that down right down here. Now, as you can see, like I said, I typically like to use gloves and this is exactly why, because I am a messy painter. Okay, so we're going to finish these up <clears throat> so that they can dry and we'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, we have all 13 of our rounds that we are needing to paint. So we're gonna give this about 30 minutes to get dry fully, and then we're gonna take them outside and spray the Mod Podge High Shine Spray on them. Okay, so our discs are completely dry. So as you can see, they look great, dry to the faint touch. So these are perfect. So now we're gonna take these outside and we're gonna spray on that Mod Podge High Shine Spray and get these dry. Okay, so now we're gonna spray on um, the High Shine Mod Podge, okay? And it is a little bit warm and windy out today, so I'm hoping it won't take very long to dry. Um, and I've tacked this paper down, um, so in case the wind wants to take it away, hopefully it won't. Um, so we're just gonna get this sprayed as quickly as possible and try to get these dried and back inside. And you don't need a heavy coat, just a light coat over the top. That's all you need. You just want to seal it in really well. And like I said, hopefully it shouldn't take very long for it to dry. And it's got that nice spray paint smell. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna let that sit here for just a little bit let that dry up for about 10 minutes or so and we'll come back and check it okay so now that we have our vinyl decals ready to go and we have our rounds are all dried and ready to go as well let's put it together and put the finishing touches on it Okay, just as a reminder, don't forget that when you're ready to put your vinyl on your um, disc, remember that you're gonna be doing it on the plastic shiny side, not on the side where you've painted. Okay, so you wanna have that as the background. But remember, there is a plastic coating on the front of this so that you wanna take that off before you put your vinyl on. Okay, so we're all finished with our milestone rounds, our discs. They turned out so super cute, super simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. If you try this out, let me know how it goes. Um, or if there's anything that you guys have questions about, please feel free to comment below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see what we're gonna do in the future, because we do lots of different things, um, please subscribe to the channel um, and hit the bell so that we can be notified the next time we upload something. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. I love making these. Hope to see you guys in the future. But until then, stay creative.